new addition to my um, outfit for the sewing after finishing what seems to be the 67 millionth strap to get on the thing I had a little incident where uh, where my needle broke and uh, and it hit me just here when it did so um, I'm going out buying a lottery ticket later because I can still see and I don't need to go to A&E which is fantastic but in the meantime I'm going to put my glasses on which I actually don't need to wear but it's amazing how much better I can see Well today um, I get to see a different room so I'm not technically in my sewing room I, you can tell it's a familiar room so um, in the front room and today we are covering these so these are the fellas that are on the back door that hide everything but they are cold against um, me because I lean against them when we sleep so um, now John's put a load of insulation behind the doors I'm going to cover them in this lovely fabric that I've bought with maps on so I get to do a dry fit down here iron them and then see how I can stick everything on so uh, yeah wish me luck <laughs> that's quite handy a nice line there on a meter so um, yeah I didn't buy the right sized fabric um, it was a bit of a guess really I thought that it would be enough surface area but of course the um, actual proportions of the fabric that they cut for me are um, a little different to what I need so time to get fancy schmancy so I'm going to do the top half in this um, the bottom half in the lovely grey I've been using because I think it will contrast nicely and then on each of the doors at the bottom there's um, like a square with rounded corners so I'm going to use this and just patch in the middle and, um, and make it look a bit fancy if I can fantastic so I can do that and then uh, yeah that'll look good And then there was mess. So it's really important that we get all of these folds out of the fabric so they don't show. So what my plan is now for this bit is I'm going to get some more of this fabric and pin it just to the other side of here. So I'm going to get myself a strip. It doesn't matter if it matches up or anything. And I'm going to sew it right sides together um, there. Um, around there and then I'm going to sew around with a, just a centimetre seam allowance wrong sides out so then what I can do is I can flip it round so there'll just be like a centimetre on the other side but it means that the edge of it will look super super neat without me having to notch in and try and stick it round so hopefully with the sewing machine it should make it that little bit easier for me but who knows eh <laughs> Once I've cut the salvage off, it'll look a little bit better. But nice, neat edges. Doesn't look half bad, does it? When you press it down. So, all my stuff there. So we're gonna have a mock up. Make sure that everything is the right dimensions before we start sticking things. Oh, not too bad, will it? Got to uh, cut the window out, but I'll do that when the uh, when it's stuck on. Right. So this fabric has to go 94 centimeters from the top, so it's the same on both of them, just to make sure I get it all sorted. So I'm going to have to do is put a box down at the 94 centimetre mark to make sure that um, I don't get any glue on the grey fabric because I think there's enough of that on there already to pee me right off um, and then I can start sticking that in the right place.
Um, on my little hints and tips video, I mentioned that I was making some pockets for the van because I um, am married to somebody who likes to leave his things everywhere. You know, oh, just go out and record with my GoPro, put it there, put this there, put this there, batteries, charging, everything, torches, fans to keep you cool. Everything. Everything just gets left everywhere. So I've been on a bit of a sewing spree um, and I have been making more. So go on there and one here and just want to show that's what it's like when it's finished and how I'm going to pop them on the drawers there. So my first step is to figure out I've done all my measurements so here we've got the measurements initially it makes sense to me of everything that's there so we've got the grey fabric, my beef fabric, the straps which that wasn't enough so I did that so now I've got my cutout list so I can get it all done production styley. so I need all of them for grey that's for me interfacing, there's me interfacing, and that for me bee fabric. And I've only got that left as far as um, Velcro is concerned, so I might have to go out and buy some Velcro. And hopefully I'm not going to run out of grey thread, or we'll have some with grey thread and some with yellow thread, because I mean, who doesn't like grey and yellow? So, got all my grey stuff cut. I've got that. So, we've got the shorter dust stuff that's for the back of the bee thing, bigger straps, biggest straps, and I've bundled everything else up in, uh, in the right order. So, hopefully, that'll uh, need an iron and then I can get assembling stuff. Got the white interfacing for the big ones, and the black interfacing goes on the front of the bee pocket there because it makes it look darker and stops it from. Um, Looking a little bit washed out makes the bees pop a little bit more with that dark in the background. So I've got front and back interfacing and then we've got the pocket which is the back, the front and the interfacing. And there you go, it stays up and it's made it stiffer which is the whole point and if you can see it makes the bees look nicer on the front. So now, on the last little bit, put a pin in there for where the um, the gap was, where I turned it. And obviously that's going to be nicely hidden at the back there. And um, just do the top stitch all the way around and put the pocket in the right place. And uh, jobs are good and ready to go and uh, pop them in the van, I think. And there. So that's all nice and neat at the back of the door. I remember to miss this out last time, this time. On that one I didn't, and that's that, that's good, so we can get whatever that is. <laughs> in a the, power bank. A power, a power bank, and done the little fans, and a torch, all out of the way, and you can still get in the cupboard. So yeah, so now we have two here. And then we've got two more at the front, so John has no excuses anymore, dear darling. No. No excuses. And you're now being filmed in your new background. Ooh, with my new... Oh. More to be coming. More to be coming. More to be coming. Hang on, let's do that again. More coming soon.